When I was doing videos, I would use like my body and inadvertently talk about gender roles, not in like a negative way, but more in like a positive way. Performing and being sexy and performing as a woman. I feel like our friendship and working together, like we're always sort of like passing ideas back and forth, like helping each other creatively, like it just like happens naturally. Like we work together, I feel like it was more like our friendship kind of. She's literally like so inspiring, just like how she moves through life. fashion world it's just like not really giving much you know um, I don't really like know who I'm inspired by in terms of like new designers or like young designers or like I mean obviously the fashion world is like crumbling and it's like good but I think that like um, everyone just needs to get a little more like bold and a little more disruptive I think that sex is a main theme. It's not the only theme, but it's but it's a serious one. A different approach to sex that had been missing from young designers in New York for as long as I can remember. And it's a truly feminine approach to sex. creative process for her is a way to like exist. It's important all the time and it's not really for everyone else, it's for her. It has to be her way. When she gets going, she's going, going, going. I just felt really um, like bored and uninspired with like all the fashion that I was seeing. Um, I don't know, I just feel like a lot of people right now with social media, they get like a lot of direct feedback really quickly on like themselves. Everyone should just like go for whatever style they want and like not worry about what other people think because like at the end of the day, like one, like you're not that original, like get over it and two, like you know, look at who we're like, we're like doing this for. I don't know. And now I think that was like a hard thing for me at that point in time. Cause I was like, who am I doing this for? Like, why am I doing this? It was kind of like an angsty moment. But then the next collection that I shot, I like sewed a lot more stuff from scratch because I've been thinking about products for the website and actually making money and stuff, which I didn't have to think about before because I was just like a stripper and I paid my bills that way. But now it's like Corona and unemployment ended. So it's like really pushed me to like think about my work really differently. It felt really scary to say like, I want to be a fashion designer because I was like, that sounds like one, like every fucking person in New York and two, like, just like, how do I even do that? Um, but then when I did the collection over the summer, I feel like I kind of like hit on something and people were really responding to it. So yeah, it's been good. I think that like the Corona thing and like the money thing really did like just kind of force me to like go for it and not care. I think that was like a good push that I needed, but it's also like really hard now because this is like my only source of income and I'm basically like broke, you know? Um, <laughs> 
because it's like why like it's, it's expensive to live in New York and it's not like I don't have that many products up on the website like at first when I put the website up like hella people bought stuff but then it was like okay I can pay my rent and bills for one month but now it's like the next month and I'm like shit I have to like keep on making stuff and so it's like I'm really treating it like a business now and it's kind of been like hard because I have to think about things like that and I can't just like you know fuck off and like make weird stuff that no one's gonna buy and actually wear you know I have to like think about that side of it too so that's what I was really trying to do with the last collection that we shot last week so I was like you know like I gotta make stuff that's interesting and like obviously like high fashion but I also have to like pay my bills you know like my parents don't make any money it's not like I'm like have like a like no one's paying my rent but me like and it's been like that since I was 19 so my parents were like traveling hippies when I was born they lived in like a tent in their car and then I lived in a school bus on like a hippie commune I really wanted to be like normal when I was a kid so then I started making videos and That was really fun, but like, and I really love video as like a medium. It's like, to me, like the most um, interesting of all of the visual arts. And I wanted to start doing videos that had more like fashion elements. Cause I feel like if you're just doing videos like with your body or whatever, and it's like random fashion, like how is that interesting? Like I needed fashion like as the like, the point, you know what I mean? To like unlock like all the other cool things I could do with video. So I originally started making clothes because I wanted to make really cool videos. And then I started making clothes and started really liking it and got like a little better at sewing and started like being really interested in it and realized like, okay, maybe this is what I want to do. Also, cause like, you know, like being a video artist, like how are you gonna make money? You know what I mean? So I kind of was like, okay, well, let me focus on fashion as my like, main thing. And then I can do videos to document the fashion. And then when Corona hit and I like didn't have any money, I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Like, who cares? Like, you know, like exactly with the shirts, like who are you trying to impress? Just do it, you know? Like if you wanna be a fashion designer, just go for it. Just try this now, like 